PvP but hardcore Iron Man. The bounty has been increased and if you kill my account today, you will receive 400 mil. Good luck gamers. In my last episode, I told you guys that I am 4 items away from starting the inferno. The arms top, the arms bottom, and then 2 secret items. If I am lucky enough to go under the drop rate, I will have all these 4 items by the end of this episode. And the first secret item I'm revealing to you guys is the Falador Shield number 2. This shield can you receive by completing Achievement Diary of Falador easy and medium. Alright, let's start completing all the tasks one by one. We went bald, we filled a bucket of water, we killed a duck, we traded Sarah, we fixed a broken strut, we got a security book, we made a blue right limb, we killed 6 imps for a mine talisman, and then of course the final task, create a mine tiara. And to get the first easy shield we can talk to Sir Ribral, he will give us the Falador shield number 1, and what this does is it recharges prayer by 25%. If I get the medium shield, shield number 2, it will charge my prayer by 50%, one time every single day. And we got the lamp as well, can we get a level on something? Beautiful 4 to 6 farming as well. I don't have all the requirements for the medium diaries, but we're gonna do as many as possible. We have a pickpocket, a Falador guard, cut a willow log, and then burn it. And we got 59 fire making as well. Telegraphed a wine of Samurak, crafted a basket, mine a gold door. We have lit a bullseye lantern, have a sex change, and that's recruitment drive completed. Pray at the Gutix altar, killing a mogre, itch's little helper completed. 55 agility, placing a scarecrow. Oh, level 79 is chasing me! Run boy! And by climbing down here, we have completed another task of Falador. Rat catchers completed. And as you can see here on the achievement diary list, we have one task left, which requires me to have 59 smithing. So, let's start the grind. Fifty-five smithing. Right, we have a very small chance this orange spice will boost my smithing to fifty-nine. <gasps> fifty-nine! Oh my god, we did it. We got the mid grapple tip, and there it is. We made ourselves two meter grapple. We can now complete the achievement diary. Here is somewhere is the shortcut grapple. Grapple wall. The medium achievement diary has been completed. Then we talk to Sir Brawl. It's gonna give us the upgraded shield and another unique lamp. We're gonna put it on farming for the seven farming. And there we have it. We have completed one out of four items for this episode. And before I reveal the second secret item I'm going for, I'm going to do 50 barrel chests in hopes of getting items. I'm gonna put private on just for a few barrels runs because this may just be the final episode before we start Inferno. That's right. Oh shit. Alright, someone found me straight ahead. Why did I even put private on? Why did I even test this? I'm fucking stupid. I managed to kill one Barrow's brother before someone found me. That just proves how hard it is to play this game mode with Private on. First Barrow chest of this episode. Nothing. 501 kill count. Barrow chest number 6. No. That's my third Guten Spear. I don't want that. I don't want that. Barrow chest number 7. Oh no. I mean it's back to back but I don't need that. Barrow chest 29. Ooh, that's a unique item and full good dance will make me heal later on. That's a very good item. Thank you very much. Barrel chest 31. <gasps> do I have that? Is that unique? Oh, we do have one of those. Barrel chest 39. No, another one. Not another one. Number 45. Nothing. For the last five barrel chests before I start to grind for the secret item, I'm gonna do private on. First barrel chest with private on. Nothing. And I'm TB'd. Oh, he left. He just teleblocked me and left. Barrel chest 47. Nothing. 48. 
nothing. Alright, the last barrel chest with private on, barrel chest number 50. We get nothing. It is almost time for me to start the grind for my second secret item of this episode. But since it may just be a very long grind, I need to make it easier for myself and therefore I'm going to get myself a Tome of Fire first. I got my main and my hot crime and here just to make it efficient. There we go, one kill count. Nothing good. Ooh, 60 fire making. Ooh, we got the warm gloves, nice. That's 61 fire making. Bruma torch, nice. 62 fire making. And we get... <gasps> yes! Oh my god! The grind is over! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this one. 16 kill count, the drop rate is 1 in 1000. Holy shit. Look at that beauty. However, I do only have 5 pages so far, so I'm gonna get myself a few more. 63 fire making. 64 fire making. Another crate. Oh, we got the hood. We're about to complete the full set. 65 fire making. I keep a secret, I promise. I don't trust you, man. I don't trust you. It is time for me to reveal the second item I'm going for. And the item is the blowpipe. The blowpipe can be received by killing Zora. It has a drop rate of 1 in 1000. And this item is going to be very, very useful specifically for the healing phase of Zuck in the Inferno. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually nervous. I did attempt Zora with the exact same gear on my main. I died three times. <coughs> Nervous. One on the big head place? Yes, nice. Fairland hits. I don't think I'll be able to kill it. I got a tab. I couldn't kill it. First attempt. I don't have enough DPS to kill it. You know, on my main I do have 99 magic, 99 range, 99 defense. I don't know, man. Maybe I need to get items as well. Oh my, I'm missing a food. I'm missing a food. Why am I missing a food? Oh, oh my god. Holy shit! I was chance that oh my, I almost died there. I almost ended the series right there. Hell monitor is giving me a bond, even though I'll die to Sora within this week. I need to compensate for not having any 99s on this account. So I'll do some barrels, hopefully I'll get some RMs, probably not. Okay, good luck me. No, come on, that's the wrong arms piece. Three arms hoods. Three arm staffs, I'm upset. And the best thing to happen today? 86 magic. Alright, last chest before bed. I got that. I'm not gonna be upset about a duplicate Torax helm. Out of blood runes, so I have to go to Wizards Guild and buy myself some more. And to do so, I had to complete Hand in the Sand quest. Hand of the Sand quest completed. Alright, Kevin, I hope you're not upstairs and killing people who are buying these runes. Good. 585 kill count. Barrel chest 91. <gasps> oh my god, best in slot. That's full carols. I got full carols. Oh my, look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Let's bank this. Let's bank this. That was not an upgrade I was looking for for the Inferno, but that's definitely an upgrade for the Inferno. Hello? Who is this? Goodbye. Barrel chest number 100. Ooh, another good dance helm. Since it has become a tradition to only do 100 barrel chests per episode, we're gonna stop barrels right there. However, we did get ourselves full caroms with the carols top as the final piece. And because I now have full carols, it is worth going for the Amulet of the Damned. The Amulet of the Damned can be received by doing the Shades of Morton mini game. It has the same stats as the Glory, and most importantly, players wearing carols set will have a 25% chance of hitting twice with one attack. No, 
I'll fix it before it's too late. No! Finally, and the temple has been completed. Nice. Shades of Morton, completed. 56 crafting as well. Give me the key first try, please. Yes, steel key brown. There we go, we got the silver key, beautiful. The chance of getting myself an amulet of the damned from these chests is 1 in 15, so good luck to me. A battle staff. Fine cloth, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna keep it. Flame tar bag. 66 fire making, nice. Currently over in drop rate, this is gonna be key number 18 and 19. Battle staff. Yes! Woo! Yes! Finally! We got the amulet of the damned. That's a beautiful looking amulet. Wow, I Let's almost just got go. this guy for bank. Shut up, Kevin. This is my moment. Now I did receive two upgrades, which makes it possible for me to complete Solra if I get the RNG. I either go to bed as a dead hardcore Iron Man or I have one kill count from Solra. One big hit. Two hits. Oh my god, we did it. Holy shit, we killed it. Let's go. I now know that I can kill Zora on this account. Will I be able to get the blowpipe before Zora takes my life? Find out in the next episode of Hardcore I Am Unlimited to PvP Worlds. Do you think people should subscribe to me? Woo! There we go.